procedural question uh, comes to mind. Uh, seeing uh, the audience uh, is made up of, uh, of very young people, so probably you're now looking at me at uh, this old age man, and I promise I'll be here just uh, briefly, and you didn't go to the wrong place, to the wrong venue. This is exactly the conference you wanted to take part in. I am just here to welcome you in my capacity as the uh, chairman uh, and of the RCS group. So I just wanted to welcome you and share with you a few preliminary comments. Back in the summer, somebody talked to me about Mind the Bridge, that somebody was my friend, Giuliano De Empoli. And we were in a meeting in which we were planning to set up an association under the name of the Ministry or Department of Ideas. So I really did not pay a lot of attention to what he said, but a few days later, my friend Fratellesi talked to me about the same thing. So we decided to get in touch with Marinucci and Onetti, and uh, easier said than done, we decided the chess uh, that, that, that we wanted to host the Mind the Bridge meeting right here in this uh, in this venue in this place, and so we are very proud to host the uh, meeting here because this is indicative of the great attention Il Corriere and the whole publishing group. Uh, gives to this sector. In Italy, we have uh, a huge uh, reservoir of energy. I've been a Bocconi uh, professor for many years, uh, and I know that many of our students or former students uh, were ex became extremely uh, successful in the U.S. Uh, to the point uh, that Currently, it is difficult to really list and classify all of our former students that now uh, work and successfully so in the United States, because there are very many of them. And it's quite difficult to try and uh, incentivize them to come back to Italy. So Italy is uh, rich in uh, energy, is got, it's got a wealth of talents, but oftentimes you need to uh, give an entrepreneurial spin to this energy so that this energy can be set in motion and launch an entrepreneurial business. So the bridge, here is where the bridge comes into place, a bridge between ideas and partners that believe in this type of energy and in these initiatives. We are indeed very well aware of the fact that one of the problems we must raise and our director, Mr. De Bortoli, and incidentally, I'd like to thank him for his uh, presence uh, here today. So as I was saying, uh, we are extremely interested in this concept of uh, leveraging the uh, potential represented by this energy we have in Italy. Uh, newspapers uh, are increasingly web-oriented and increasingly oriented towards uh, interactive forms of communication. So a newspaper isn't just something that tells you that innovation is necessary, that we have a lot of talented people here, and so on and so forth, because uh, a business uh, 
experiences uh, these problems, these issues on a day-to-day -day basis. We know that the future of innovation uh, intermingles with uh, technology, is closely intertwined with, uh, with the new ideas, uh, with the development of technology, and the history, the glorious history of uh, a publishing group. Uh, and when this publishing group wants to retain a good reputation, has got really to help this uh, uh, transition towards uh, uh, innovation, towards more new technologies, and so on and so forth. So this is something we really believe in, and thus the RCS group, the the newspaper Corriere della Sera um, are not here just as uh, to act as a spectator, but rather we believe we are important players in this uh, extremely important transition, a transition that we ourselves are to make. I apologize because I won't be able to follow the whole meeting. I have to go to Rome because I chair one of the Banca, uh, Bank of Italy's uh, meeting. But I wish you a very fruitful uh, day of work. We engage uh, in several initiatives of this type. We will keep you posted because we really want you and, and everybody to consider this venue and this newspaper and this group as a, a friendly uh, group that look at these uh, issues of innovations with uh, friendly eyes. Thank you and good work. Uh, good morning, welcome to all of you on my behalf as well. After Talking, talking after the chairman, I find it very difficult to say new things to Piacere poter ospitare questo evento, questa organizzazione, questo progetto. Con i... And it's... Credo che condividiamo tante delle finalità. We have uh, many things in common, and uh, indeed, uh, uh, training, uh, uh, knowledge dissemination, information dissemination are topical issues that uh, need to be dealt with, and this is the right venue. Qualcosa di comune molto importante. Noi siamo... We have things in common, and of course we are focusing on innovation. We are going through a very sensitive moment in time, and being competitive will mean, going forward, will mean being capable of producing, of generating innovation. And we have learned from past experience that innovation is often generated by small enterprises, by small ventures that eventually come in contact with larger companies when, of course, there are projects such as this one that favor and enhance this link. So I would like to wish you fruitful proceedings and uh, I hope we, the Corriere della Sera will uh, make this event very visible. And I wish you again fruitful proceedings. Good morning, everybody. President, Mar Mr. Chairman Marchetti and our CEO have said really everything. I have already said it all. I have uh, welcomed you all already here, but I wish to join uh, in and say that we are really very proud to host this event here and to have you uh, here today. We are very, uh, very happy. We are dedicating the next two days uh, to deal with these uh, topics. Uh, I am pleased because I see many colleagues and friends uh, here. We have uh, traveled uh, certain uh, stretches of our professional paths together. So I'm really happy that in the next two days we'll be facing uh, uh, crucial uh, uh, topics uh, such as uh, uh, really creating a meeting place for talents on the one hand, hopefully Italian talents, and capital.
capital, equity, investment on the other side. Uh, we are very happy to try and help these talents overcome the hurdles that have often prevented the flourishing of successful businesses in, in Italy. Um, setting up a, a brand new company is not difficult. Startups have a, a very, I mean, setting up a startup is really a tough experience. So the big issue of supporting uh, innovation means that, okay, you start and finance a good idea, but then you have to support it along the way so that it can really take root and actually uh, flourish and, as I was saying, thrive and, and, and develop. I am sure that today we'll be able to receive from you a number of suggestions and indications on how to really uh, report on this uh, world uh, correctly, because you know, we journalists may be looking at these things uh, through the eyes of, uh, uh, you know, adventure or 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 just focusing on a case-by-case -case, uh, uh, analysis. Instead, I think that this is a, a sphere that really requires the full attention of media, politics, uh, etc. because unfortunately we leave uh, I'm sorry. Unfortunately, we live in a very, in a very uh, short-sighted uh, uh, country who is uh, simply unable to try and uh, design and plan its transition towards the future. So the topics that we'll be covering here are extremely relevant uh, to the future of the country, as the chairman and as the CEO said uh, before. Uh, what we want to do is a, a kind of taking part in these meetings uh, as a form of uh, learning for life, you know. Um, we want to be part of this uh, uh, steady development of this, uh, of this uh, world that keeps looking forward. And we want to look at you um, with greater attention and uh, uh, with uh, great humble because we are sure there is a lot we can learn from you. So I'm sure that the contributions you give to us will help us provide better information, cover in a better way the world of innovation, the world of new technologies, so as to, you know, kind of uh, um, open up ourselves and open up our minds uh, to this uh, fresh wind of innovation. Thank you. Buongiorno. Um, posso parlare in italiano, ma credo che parlo molto meglio in inglese. E quindi forse sarei la prima persona che parla in inglese oggi. startup businesses and young entrepreneurs. Your work contributes to strengthening the U.S.-Italian relationship in the business, financial, and academic sectors. The Mind, the Mind the Bridge Foundation <coughs> excuse me, has been a leading and outstanding partner in support of our Partnership for Growth initiative launched three years ago to promote entrepreneurship and innovation as a means to spur a new dynamism in the Italian economy. Such dynamism, we hope, will lead to expanded ties between American and Italian institutions and businesses, and increase cross-fertilization of ideas, and improve the state of our bilateral trade and investment. In this period of economic crisis, such a focus is more important than ever. Over the last three years, we have worked together with you and other partners in Italy to promote innovation, technology transfer, protection of intellectual property rights, and access to private equity and venture capital. The U.S. Italy Fulbright Commission's Business Exchange and Student Training Program, otherwise known as the Fulbright BEST, 
sends bright young Italian entrepreneurs to study entrepreneurship and to intern with US companies. I commend Mind the Bridge on its efforts to bring Italy's innovation startups firms together and to help them put in t uh, be put in touch with Silicon Valley entrepreneurs and financiers. These efforts are essential to establishing an environment in which Italian young entrepreneurs can thrive. Unfortunately, though, these efforts are not enough. If Italian entrepreneurs are going to succeed in Italy, fundamental changes need to be made in Italian business and academic cultures. For example, engineering and scientific universities should be better equipped to advise students on how to start their own companies. A simultaneous academic focus on realities of transferring technologies to market should not be seen as weakening the value of scientific research being conducted, but as strengthening those ties. There should also be a business environment which is more tolerant of risk. The recent reform of the bankruptcy law is a good step in the right direction, but more should and can be done. These are just two illustrations of the types of obstacles that need to be removed if we are going to be successful in creating an environment in which Italian entrepreneurs can take risks, can stumble, and yet can go on to succeed in Italy and in the world. Unfortunately, it is not enough to recognize and discuss these among ourselves, the importance of these reforms that will encourage startups to blossom and create badly needed jobs. <clears throat> Thus, I urge our partners, Italian business groups, investors, universities, and entrepreneurs to take the initiative to work with the political, academic, and financial systems to help bring about change. We will certainly be supportive of these efforts in any way that we can. In conclusion, let me thank you again for this opportunity to speak, congratulate you on your efforts to raise the profile in Italy of startup companies by connecting them with Silicon Valley's uh, ecosystem. Um, I firmly believe that Italian entrepreneurs must be nurtured if the Italian economy is to remain among the world's leaders in innovation and growth. And Italian firms are to remain good partners with American firms and reliable investors in the United States. This is a very impressive program, and I look forward to the interchange of ideas today. Grazie. Good morning. It's an honor and a privilege for me to open this uh, conference before this audience and uh, and uh, at the venue where we are, that's to say the very heart of Corriere della Sera, Milan welcomed uh, us uh, with uh, uh, fair weather and uh, a mild temperature. I'm Marco Marinucci, the founder and manager of the Mind uh, Bridge uh, Foundation. Uh, the Mind Bridge Foundation is the result uh, of, of a dream I had. That's to say, we wanted to gr lay the groundwork for excellence uh, uh, centers or excellent, uh, excellent uh, projects to develop in, in Italy. And these are things that could potentially change the world. How do do we go about it? We set up a channel between a connection channel between Silicon Valley and Italy. The idea is uh, uh, mingling Italian talents uh, with the uh, economic and financial and business development resources that are typical of uh, Silicon Valley. We don't want to transfer or export uh, the best Italian talents uh, to Silicon Valley. In fact, uh, the subtitle of the conference of today Today's conference is a trip to Silicon Valley and back, and we are emphasizing the and back part of the subtitle, because what we want to do is really uh, extract the best uh, from both countries, from both sectors. Uh, that's to say, leveraging uh, the global resources, uh, uh, the best resources uh, that are currently easily available thanks to the global uh, uh, scenario in which we operate. So but, uh, how do we do that in practice? Uh, we organize a competition and we select uh, the projects that are among the most uh, important uh, uh, projects over the long time uh, period. There is a number of um, investors. There's a committee that is made up of investors, uh, 
both from the US and Italy. And through these events, uh, these uh, events, we selected the most interesting projects that are then associated with mentors. Mentors who are people who used to be successful in kind of uh, accompanying start startups to their uh, next uh, development. Um, the finalists uh, will be chosen, taken to Silicon Valley, and uh, they will be put to work in, in practice, exposed to a, an incentivizing, a stimulating uh, entrepreneurial context. And the whole thing will be concluded with the presentation of these projects to the uh, community of uh, Silicon Valley. What are we going to see today? The program, as you have seen, is essentially made up of three main separate lines. The first part is actually the presentation of uh, our semi-finalist uh, startups that were selected in the summer. Um, they will be presented uh, one by one. That's to say uh, they will have to present the project and they will have, be given a short period of time. And over that short period of time, they will have to sell their project at best. In the first row, we have the selection committee that will provide uh, a feedback uh, or an assessment. So based on their assessment, we will select the finalists that will then go to Silicon Valley. The second line is inspiration. That's to say one of the important um, things that we'd like to stress is uh, giving visibility to successful uh, cases. We want to establish role models. There are very many successful Italian entrepreneurs, uh, many of whom uh, remained uh, in Italy. Others became famous or successful abroad, but they are rather unknown. So we would like to turn them into a possible source of inspiration for future equally successfully hopefully, uh, entrepreneurs. So um, that was the idea of uh, uh, inspiration. And that's why we have also dedicated plenty of time during the meeting for investors and startups, for inspirators and, and, and young people to get together and exchange ideas. Networking is really a very important uh, um, point here. In a, a very important thing to develop this uh, kind of system. Um, the first venture camp uh, was uh, held in, in Rome, and the whole uh, group, the whole foundation, was set up in 2007. The second year, uh, we held the meeting in Venice. There were about uh, 120 people. But then in 2009, the foundation gave itself uh, a more formal organization. We have uh, a board. Uh, uh, the Italian uh, arm of the foundation is led by Alberto Onetti. And our presence uh, here, I really have to say we had to close uh, the uh, registration to the meeting uh, a week ago because uh, uh, it was over oversubscribed, so to speak. So mm, what we're doing is extremely topical, is extremely uh, relevant. And thanks to what we've done so far, we are one step closer to the dream we want uh, to make come true. Thank you. Grazie Marco, eh, benvenuto anche da parte mia. Mm, io credo che il Venture Camp di quest'anno sia importante e diverso per due ordini di motivi. Il primo, la sede, eh, Milano, e in particolare il posto che ci ospita. Non è un semplice ospite, ma è un partner che ha voluto aderire, come diceva prima anche il Presidente Marchetti, ad un progetto e come sottolineava il Presidente fin dalla prima telefonata è scattata una sorta di scintilla di condivisione di quelli che erano un po' i nostri obiettivi con, uh, con loro e quindi penso che vada il nostro ringraziamento come Mind the Bridge al gruppo RCS al Corriere della Sera.it per, per questo supporto in cui crediamo molto. Crediamo molto perché ci può consentire 
di fare dei passi avanti con il nostro programma. L'anno scorso lo stesso evento si era tenuto a Venezia, in una bellissima isola, ma era un evento rivolto a 120 professionisti. Però il nostro messaggio, riteniamo che non sia un messaggio rivolto soltanto agli addetti ai lavori, ma sia un messaggio... This is not just for experts. I, we think it's a far-reaching venture camp and uh, through this venture camp we aim at uh, really transferring, communicating the vision we have in mind. Second outstanding point is that uh, uh, we have to set up a group a, an organization in Italy, it's not just myself, we have a group in Italy, as I was saying, that is working to really help people turn uh, startups uh, into uh, uh, real projects. Uh, um, and I will introduce this group later on. You will meet this group and I would like to thank them for the effort. I'm thinking of Emanuele Scoditti, Tito Costa, Massimo Carraro, uh, Ilario Nibeni, and uh, a group of people that is really, uh, is, is somehow it's the hardcore of uh, uh, Mind the Bridge in Italy, and uh, this organization will further grow, and I'm sure we're going to be successful going forward. So this is uh, what makes us stand out from the rest. Uh, and let me also thank, I just thank Il Corriere della Sere, but there's a, Mind the Bridge is a non-profit organization, so we rely on private funding. And therefore, we rely on people and companies that share our ideals. So let me thank them. Let me thank the companies that supported this year's initiatives. Dada, first and foremost, Polari Gratis, Edi Lilly, Topix, Euro Milano, and Sun that really supported our initiative and enabled us to come up with this event and I hope you will all be able to appreciate it and enjoy it. Um, a personal comment, what do we have in mind starting from the Venture Camp onwards? We have an objective, we have a goal in mind and we want to convey a message. In Italy uh, you can uh, generate innovation, and you can generate companies that uh, have a standing at international level. So this is the message we want to convey. And large enterprises uh, and ambitious projects need capitals, need partners. And so you need to enlarge your management team as well, and you need to focus on team management as a policy. This is the message we want to convey to Italy. In our DNA, there's a well-rooted idea. Uh, it's an enterprise and a leader within the company. It's a, it can be referred back to the atomic, the atom-based model, but uh, we want to open up to others. So our message is really to open up to the outer world, come to grips uh, with other entrepreneurial worlds, then the contact with Silicon Valley and the initiatives we have in our agenda. Two weeks ago, we started a session that was devoted to presentation skills. It's very important to be able to communicate in the best uh, fashion, in the best way. So you need specialists, you need to be able to communicate in English. And we'll stress this uh, point very much over the last, uh, in the next, uh, well, today and in the mm, next day, because it's very important to be able to communicate in English. And uh, this is important if you want to communicate your business model and if you want to translate ideas into figures into a real venture. This is basically the message we want to convey and I don't want to waste any more of your time. Let us, uh, let me just remind you, I would like to thank Minister Scaiola, who unfortunately cannot be here with us today, but who wrote us a message and is in Latin America right now. But uh, he really supported us with his encouragement, he really encouraged us. So I would like to thank him very much. I think we can start. We have a lot to do, so it's very important that we comply and stick to the agenda in line with uh, American pragmatism somehow. We. And we will uh, try and be very rigorous in sticking to the allotted timing. Uh, Amira Birashid uh, will be uh, chairing the first panel, will be moderating the first panel, and uh, we will hear from uh, success cases. Paolo Barbesi with Dada, Massimo Colomban with Parvasterisa, and uh, uh, 
Fabio Cannavale di Voda Grazia e Alessandro Fracassi with Mutui Online.